Here I made the summary of all equations that involve the thermodynamic potentials, internal energy, enthalpy, Helmholtz free energy, and Gibbs free energy. And all these equations were derived from one single equation, which is yung ating fundamental theorem of thermodynamics, which is also written here. So yung first class or group of equations that you see in this summary are the mathematical definitions of those thermodynamic potentials. And here in the second set of equations, so you have the equations in order for us to calculate the change in that thermodynamic potential. And also, last video lecture, na derived natin tong walong equations na to in number 3, which are just the partial derivatives of different thermodynamic potentials with respect to different variables. And lastly, uh, yung last set of equations here, we call this Maxwell relations, number 4. Now, these Maxwell relations were derived from the fact that those equations in number 2 are exact differential equations. So, ito yung summary. Uh, you can list this on your notes. You can take a screenshot so that you can refer to these equations kapag kinakailangan in order for you to solve specific problems. Now, let's go back to the equation that allows us to calculate the internal energy of any gas, no? So, di ba, kung matatandaan natin, yung du or change in internal energy, of course, we can get this from the fundamental theorem of thermodynamics, but yung pinakauna nating nakuwang equation for internal energy is CV dt, right? So, we have CV dt. Um, CV dt is just for perfect gases, but if you have a general gas, no? so meron kang additional term, na partial derivative of u with respect to v at constant t dv. Okay? Um, at this point, we don't exactly know kung ano yung identity or rather how we can calculate yung term na ito. But we know that this one is called the internal pressure. Okay? Internal pressure and we normally denote it with the symbol pi. Okay? Pero how do we exactly calculate that? Ang maganda dito is since we have a full list of equations coming from the fundamental theorem and we were able to derive different equations such as Maxwell relations, pwedeng pwede na nating hanapan ng mathematical expression a yung term na yan. So, all we have to do is to invoke yun ngang fundamental theorem, du equals TDS minus PDV. Now, we want this term, right? We want partial of u with respect to v at constant t. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, ang gagawin natin from the fundamental theorem, okay, i-divide natin siya by dv. So, divide by dv at constant t. Kasi yun yung gusto natin. So, doing that, ano mangyayari? So, we'll have partial derivative of u or change in u with respect to v. Kasi derivate natin ng dv at constant t daw. Okay? Equals, kung divide mo ng dv yung left-hand side ng equation, garun din yung gagawin natin sa right-hand side. So, you have t Tapos yung ds magiging partial of s or change in s with respect to v. Okay? At constant t. And yung last term natin which is minus pdv, minus p na lang siya kasi nga divide natin ng dv. Okay? Now, we would like to know what is this term right here. Ano tong partial of s with respect to v at constant t? Kasi ayaw natin ng ganyang term. Because remember, we want to identify yung internal pressure nga. And we need to identify it or express it in such a way na yung definition niya or yung equation niya is in terms only of natural variables like pressure, temperature, and volume. Okay? So, I need to find an expression that is equivalent to 
this term here. And saan pa tayo kukuha ng ganyang expression kundi sa ating mga Maxwell relation. So, tindahan nyo, partial of S with respect to V at constant T. Not saan siya dito sa ating mga equations. You can look at the Maxwell relations, you can look at the partial derivatives. So, yung uh, SVT is where? It's right here, no? Yan yung SVT. Okay, so that's what we are looking for. And it turns out it's equivalent to PTV or change in pressure with respect to temperature at constant volume. So yan yung ilalagay natin doon. Okay, so let's rewrite this equation. So partial of U with respect to V at constant T equals T times, ano nga yung equivalent niya? Um, PTV. Okay, so partial of P with respect to T at constant V minus P. And thus, we have um, expressed yung partial of U with respect to V at constant T as this. Ibig sabihin, ang natira na lang dun sa equation na yan are natural var variables P, T, and V. Okay? And therefore, we can easily calculate partial of V with respect to V at constant T and insert it doon sa ating internal energy equation which is this, right? Kung kaya na kailangan. Now, what if we have a perfect gas? Okay, kapag perfect gas, So, kapag perfect gas, alam natin na yung expression na yan, okay, equal sa zero. Now, let's prove kung equal nga siya sa zero. Right? So, for a perfect gas, remember, pressure is nRT over V. Okay? Now, ang gusto kong mangyari ngayon is let's um, obtain this expression right here, yung nakuha natin kanina, for an ideal gas or perfect gas. So, we want to determine the partial derivative okay, of P with respect to T at constant volume for a perfect gas. So, it differentiate therefore natin itong ideal gas equation. So, partial P with respect to T, ano mangyayari? Constant si N, R, tsaka si volume. So, it's simply N, R divided by V. Okay. So, balikan natin yung um, equation na to. Okay. And we can see, therefore, that to get partial of U, or internal energy change, with respect to V at constant T equals T. Now, that term, partial P with respect to T at constant V, nakuha na natin yan, which is... Uh, this one, right? So, all we have to do now is to insert. So, magiging T times NR over V. And then, meron kang minus P. Okay? But, what is NRT over V? This term. Ano yan? Well, that's still your P, right? Then, minus P. So, therefore, for a perfect gas na derived natin or na prove natin that partial or change in U with respect to that constant T is equal to 0. Again, this is for a perfect gas. Now, what if you don't have a perfect gas? What you have instead is a van der Waals gas. So, all you have to do is, instead of using the perfect gas equation, which is this, right? Ang i-insert nyo doon sa equation, okay? Or this one, if you are going to determine the change in pressure with respect to T at constant V, wag nyo gagamitin yung ideal gas equation, but rather you will use the van der Waals equation. So, I need you to prove on your own kung ano yung lalabas na equation. And actually, you will get the following. So, for a van der Waals gas, yung 
expression na change in internal energy with respect to volume at constant temperature will not be zero this time. So for a van der Waals gas, please prove that it's equal to N squared times A divided by V squared. This is for a van der Waals gas. And this equation that we just derived, or you will derive, okay, medyo mahalaga itong equation na to kasi we can therefore um, derive the mathematical expression kung paano natin i-compute yung internal energy du. So given that equation right now, so we can um, separate the variables, magiging du, okay, equals n squared a over v squared dv. Okay? So, what I did is I just separated the variables. Okay? Now, what I will do here is to integrate from condition 1 to condition 2, let's say, and also do that for the right-hand side of the equation from volume 1 to volume 2. So, ano mangyayari? If you're going to integrate, so the integral of du is simply delta u. Okay? And if you integrate the right-hand side of the equation, ang lalabas na expression, and I will leave this exercise for you to integrate that, but ang lalabas is n squared times a, these are the constants, times minus 1 over v2 plus 1 over v1. So what we have obtained here is an expression to calculate the internal energy of a van der Waals gas under isothermal conditions.